Meanwhile, the search is on for a man connected to several violent crimes across Baltimore, including two homicides. Fox 45's Keith Daniels has more on what some are calling him and where that investigation stands. Well, the deadly violence broke out behind these doors, and tonight, the search for the shooter, a suspect some are calling the casual cigarette killer. Take a good look at these photos. Baltimore police say they need help identifying and locating this man. Investigators are calling him a person of interest in connection with two homicides and one non-fatal shooting that happened within hours of each other June 2nd. Hey, hey, how you doing? One of those homicides just before 4 o'clock that morning at the Exxon gas station on West Mulberry Street near North Green Street. A man shot several times dead. The suspect caught on camera. Can I get 32 and 7? The man seen walking with a gun in one hand and with what looks like a cigarette or something else hanging from his mouth. That image to one of the clerks seems very casual for a suspected killer on a mission. <laughs> he was so cool. He what? He, he looked so cool. Cool. He looked like that. He looked so casual, like smoking cigarette and shooting on guy. The clerk, who does not want to be identified, looking at photos of the suspect, including this one, where the man is seen pointing a gun, aiming at the victim, never dropping what's hanging from his mouth before killing a man. We never understand like what happened. First they were talking and after that, it's gonna happen here. At first he was talking to a man? Yeah. And then what? And then the sh he shot him. Police say after that shooting, at about nine that morning, a man was approached in the area of Garrison Boulevard and Liberty Heights. He turned, walked away, then heard a gunshot, then realized he'd been hit but survived. Then later, 5 p.m., another man gunned down, later at the hospital, pronounced dead. Three shootings, two of them fatal, one person of interest. At the Exxon, the security guard, who was not there that morning. It seemed like a person to me that had no care in the world. Commenting on the suspect's photo and the deadly shooting that happened at the gas station. Because a gas station should be a, a safe haven. That's what I think, because this is this is a place of business. You're supposed to come here, get gas, snacks, whatever, and go about your business. This, no. Well, if you recognize the man in those images, you're urged to call police. Remember, you can remain anonymous by calling Metro Crime Stoppers, the number on your screen. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.